Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks at Ungani Titan. So having uh, given up on getting the Bogiatar or Bogiatar, um the recent Air Noble tank, um, I still wanted to complete the um, number of the op I was on because there was some premium time. I decided to play tanks that I hadn't played in a while and I'd have a bit of fun in. And one of those tanks is the Matilda, the um, British Tier 4 medium tank. Now it's called a medium tank by um, Wargaming because um, that's kind of the category they're putting it in by weight I suspect. Um, the British actually considered it an infantry tank and uh, because the British were a bit weird that way. British tanks in World War II um, followed a different doctrine to pretty much everybody else even though it was the British research that most people's doctrine was originally placed on, or based on, sorry. Um, the British military establishment rejected some of the recommendations of their armoured warfare study group um, in the 1920s and went down a different route, which is essentially that of the infantry tanks and the cruiser tank philosophy, where the cruiser tanks were essentially cavalry. Um, their role was kind of reconnaissance, battlefield shock, pursuit, the kind of stuff traditionally done by cavalry. And the infantry tanks were for infantry support. Um, but this was the theory. The, th the weird thing was, of course, that the infantry tanks were um, armed with two pounder guns in the case of the Matilda and um, six pounder guns, two and six pounder guns, and. Uh, in the case of the Churchill line of heavy tanks, until you, well, I suppose, get to the Black Prince, but. Um, so the British uh, were doing uh, these very good anti tank guns on infantry support tanks, which were kind of tanks that really would need um, high explosives, or tank guns with a good, uh, good high explosive round. So. So yeah, like I said, I have a lot of fondness for the Matilda, however, because I said it was one of the um, one of the things that I first started doing when I played uh, World of Tanks was I started actually on the British Tech Tree. Uh, I was curious to know how the British um, tanks were treated, um, how the um, cruiser tanks and how the British uh, heavy tanks in particular. And I went initially for the Matilda. Um, as one of my early targets. So I was playing the Matilda and I had no clue at all really what I was doing. So and one of the earlier battles I had was on Mountain Pass. I can't quite remember um, which side I started on or where exactly the engagement occurred. But um, the team anyway disappeared down this pass in the mountains and I followed them. Um, I think it might have been an encounter mode or something like that, but they disappear. I'm in um, a tank with 50% driver and uh, stock Matilda, which is exceptionally slow. I think it's going to top speed about 8 kilometers, and I'm not even going that fast. And the team disappears, and I'm just driving and I'm driving, and I seem to be driving forever, and I don't seem to be um, have any idea what's going on. And eventually, I kind of come around. And corner and the distance I see um, a tank up uh, behind a bush and I kind of back up and I'm in a kind of a slow in the landscape it's a bit of a, a little dip or a hole and the next thing a Panzer 1C jumps me drives past disappears around a corner and um, vanishes and then a second one appears and starts doing circles around me and uh, there's constant clatter of automatic weapons, ricochets off the armor, the commanders are shouting various things, and you can imagine, yeah, um, it was quite confusing and quite startling, and it was my first experience of this kind of thing happening. And um, one of the things I discovered was that I couldn't uh, chase the tank that was running around me uh, with my turret, it wasn't fast enough to keep up with the... Um, Panzer, so I actually started counter rotating the turret and shooting him as he got past. And eventually, I got rid of one of them. And then the second guy had popped out a few times and dumped a clip. And then finally, he came out, dumped a clip, and he rammed me and tracked himself. And I um, 
then shot him before he made his repairs. Um, then I came out and killed the um, the other tank that I saw at the beginning that never um, was unaware of all this drama going on a couple hundred meters away. And at the end of it, I hadn't lost any hit points. Um, so I finished up with a whole bunch of ribbons and middles and stuff that I'd never gotten before. Steel walls, Spartan, cool headed. Um, and I finished up with some armor blocking achievements as well. So it was uh, one of my best performances to date, or up to that point in time when I was playing World of Tanks. And I was absolutely thrilled with myself. I mean, it had nothing to do with me. It was all down to the fact that I was in a Matilda. Even a stock Matilda, because the armor was still pretty good. And uh, especially back in the early days of playing it, because there weren't too many tanks that could um, penetrate the Matilda. I remember um, the tanks, one of the tanks that really terrified me was the Hetzer. Uh, the Hetzer could penetrate the Matilda without any difficulty. And while a Matilda can actually penetrate a Hetzer without too much difficulty as well, I couldn't do it. I was constantly bouncing shots off the Hetzer and I had no idea why and I had no idea where exactly you would hit the Hetzer um, to penetrate it and I had no idea where you'd find out. It was um, a matter of you know shooting it in different places over a long period of time until I actually figured out what worked. Such were the ways we learned uh, World of Tanks. I didn't know anything about YouTube videos or the forums or any of that kind of stuff. That came later, um, much later actually in my playing career. So, um, so yeah, I have a great fondness for the Matilda as a result of this, and uh, I'd like to take it out every now and again for a spin. And when you have a particularly good game, it gives me fond memories of uh, some very good games that I've had in the Matilda before, where. Um, This uh, tank has um, helped me, you know, pull out some victories. Um, the armor, like I said, isn't as good as it used to be, uh, but the tank itself is still a superb tank. As long as you can find a position that allows you work the gun, um, it is one of the best guns for its tier in the game. Um, so it doesn't do a lot of damage, but the rate of fire is so high that that doesn't matter. Um, it will take tanks apart before they even realize they're being shot at in some cases. Um, and one of the things that Matilda does fear as well is another Matilda. Um, fortunately for me, he's side on, so I'm bouncing the few shots and he's not. Um, and I've, I've got allies as well, which also helps. So, yeah, I think wonderful tank. Um, it is slow, yeah, but you know, you can. Um, Compensate for that, shall we say, by uh, knowing your maps and finding a position. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, we did high caliber, we got first class mastery, we got defender, we got uh, confederate. Great tank for getting confederate. If you ever need a confederate up, um, I think I would recommend the Matilda. It's any or any high rate of fire tank. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you again soon.